I'm here with Riley Strangard, uh, one of the members of the ISU softball team. Uh, first off, thank you for joining us. Um, so you've had, so far this season, you've got to travel to all sorts of places. What has that been like so far this season? I mean, every year it's somewhere different. I feel like we really take advantage of our schedule and we play the best competition that there is out there. I mean, this past weekend we played Minnesota and I think they're in the top 10 and we always face Florida and in Michigan a couple times. So traveling to these warm places, we're playing mm -hmm. a lot of competition and it definitely pays off in the long run. You mentioned playing in all these warm places. How do you focus on the game when you have to come back to Illinois where it's not actually that warm? I mean, it's really not that difficult. I mean, le recently we've had a couple problems with the weather. We've had a couple rain delays, a couple rain outs. But I mean, once we're there, we're there and we're just ready to play and we try to play the best ball that we can. And I mean, we come back every Sunday night and we get a couple practices in and then Wednesday we leave again. So it becomes pretty routine and we get the, we get in the hang of things. Okay. Um, before the season started, you were named to the All-NBC preseason team. What kind of expectations do you set for yourself after hearing that? Um, I mean, every year is something different. I mean, there's different pitching that comes into the Valley, and there's just different competition, so you never know what your year is going to have. But I'm definitely honored to receive that award or whatever you want to call it. But, I mean, you never know. I mean, different people step up in different times, and we have a lot of different people stepping up this year, and I'm really excited to see how our year goes. Um, you have a lot of freshmen and sophomore on this year's team. What kind of leadership role do you have to play both on and off the field? It's definitely, we've had, this is one of the youngest teams that we've ever had, but at the same time, we always talk about how we don't feel that young. Um, a lot of our freshmen, they've come to campus and they just picked up on things really quickly. And our sophomores have too. I mean, they definitely know the, just the things now and they are in the hang of things. And like we said, like we are young in age, but we definitely work well together and we got, we have a really good team this year. You had a lot of success in high school, and then when you came to ISU, you got to make an impact right away. You got to start a couple games as a freshman. What was that like, being able to start right away and help the team out? Um, I mean, I remember my first couple of games, I was really nervous. And after my first couple of games, you just kind of go out there saying, what do I have to lose, you know? Like, and you just play your hardest. And I mean, I think I got a couple lucky breaks here and there. And I don't know, it's just been a really smooth transition for me, and I'm very grateful for that. And I mean, hopefully this year we keep it going. Um, so you had, a, uh, I was told that your team has a motto. Can you explain it and what it's about? Um, well, we have a lot of different mottos and we mm. have a lot of different things that we do on the field. But I mean, this year, whenever things kind of start not going our way, we kind of just do this little sign and it kind of loosens us all up. Mm. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to why we do that. It happened once and the next thing you know, we're always doing it now. So. That's kind of what we always go back to and rely on. Well, Riley, thank you very much. Good luck for the rest of the season, and uh, we hope to have you again soon.